my guy's career high is 82 points and got $10 million a season. That's more than guys who have cups, who have scoring titles. Eichel makes more than a million dollars a year more than Sidney Crosby, and he's never even played in a playoff game. He didn't let me down because he's so immature, and he's always been this way. Just an entitled, spoiled kid who has never had to face adversity. This was the Jack Eichel narrative. It wasn't very long ago when the entire NHL and its fans thought that Jack Eichel wasn't the player he was hyped up to be. But honestly, how could they? When you look back, he was stripped of the captaincy in Buffalo, he never led them to the playoffs, and then when he was traded to Vegas, he still failed to get them into the postseason. Everyone knew the potential, but they also knew the baggage. Fast forward almost a year later, and Jack Eichel has led the Vegas Golden Knights to their second ever Stanley Cup final, while sitting as their odds-on favorite to win playoff MVP. So, how did he do it? Well, let's dive in. There's no doubt that Eichel's reputation in the hockey world had took a beating in Buffalo. After being hyped up as a franchise center, he showed himself to be a player who had a lot to learn. He didn't always defend well and he had some maturity issues to overcome, but in these playoffs, he's proving everyone wrong by playing up to his potential. The expectation when he was drafted was that he would one day grow into a game-breaking franchise center. Of course, with the hopes of one day, it would lead to an eventual Stanley Cup. Unfortunately for Buffalo, this prophecy was never fulfilled, but with Vegas, Eichel is just four wins away from doing just that and completely rewriting the narrative around his career. To be that guy, it's more than just scoring goals. It means doing all the little things right in every area of the ice to help your team win. That's exactly what Eichel has done for Vegas. Now, when Eichel is at his best, he's moving his feet and using his big 6'2 frame while anticipating the game well before his opponents. Although he only picked up one assist in game two against Dallas, it may have been his best as a Golden Knight as it embodied everything that he does so well for Vegas and their system. In these playoffs especially, getting a controlled zone entry is rare because of how tight the defensive structures are of each team. This is where Eichel bends the game to his advantage. It is typical for centers to swing low to provide breakout support, but Eichel's speed and skill takes Vegas from defense to offense in a flash. You'll see here Eichel swings low for center support, and as soon as he feels that pressure, he chips the puck to his teammate in space and keeps his legs moving. Vegas advances the puck, and the speed and IQ of Eichel has led to a 4-on-3 rush and a controlled zone entry for the Golden Knights. It materializes into a fantastic chance off of great vision from Eichel, but it doesn't result into a goal. Even when Eichel doesn't have the puck, he's still using his speed and IQ to drive offense and create controlled zone entries. On this 3-on-2 play, watch Eichel use his speed to drive the middle and run a slight interference to give Marjorie room to step into the middle of that ice and claim that space. Afterwards, he peels off to make himself an option and nearly creates a perfect passing play. It's these subtleties that have made him and the Knights so hard to manage. Of course, teams learn and tighten up, but even when Dallas does a good job at clogging the neutral zone, Eichel's skill and awareness is still on full display. Recognizing that Dallas has closed him off before he even reaches the red line, watch him flip this puck purposely on net to avoid an icing and either force a faceoff or a Dallas breakout. The bounce makes things dicey for the stars, and Eichel uses his speed to force Sutter to make a questionable play. The rest is the brilliance of a franchise center. Look as he takes a quick head check to make mental note of where his F3 is, and then as he takes this puck off the boards, he throws an absolutely disgusting no-look pass to Marcheseau to tie the game. At normal speed, it looks like a Hail Mary behind the back pass, but really, it's calculated brilliance a game-breaking play made by a game-breaking player. Of course, the obvious talent plays are all still there. Eichel plays an extremely smart game, but he isn't afraid to leverage the skill that makes him special to try and break the game wide open. Some big superstars lose this creativity when the lights are the brightest, but not Jack Eichel. Now, in order to be truly valuable in the NHL playoffs, you have to learn to play through physicality and actually welcome it. At 6'2 and 207 pounds, Eichel has done this all playoffs. 
When he decides to use his frame, it's almost impossible to get the puck off of him. He consistently draws his space a few feet off the boards to give himself escape routes while keeping his body between the puck and the defenders. Once he has you on his back, there's almost no chance you even touch the puck. Even against an elite defender and skater like Heiskanen, watch Eichel get wide and use his front right leg and hand to fend off any checks. As soon as Heiskanen thinks he has him on lock, Eichel pumps on the brakes and says see you later, take a hike, and leaves him in the dust. Offensively, Eichel has always been gifted, but the true sign of growth with an offensive juggernaut of a player is how they play on the defensive side of the puck. Bruce Cassidy's coaching and system has done wonders for Eichel in this department. In the Edmonton series specifically, Eichel did a fantastic job at keeping both Dreisaitl and McDavid in check. Watch here how quickly Eichel closes in on Dreisaitl and uses his entire body on him to just snuff out the play. Even against the fastest player on the planet, Eichel uses his range and size to slow down McDavid and get body positioning. That same defensive awareness carried into the Dallas series as well. There were countless times where Eichel would use his speed to back check and break up plays with his effort. Watch him come all the way back from the offensive blue line here to catch the Dallas player and get back possession for Vegas. This is what leadership looks like on the ice. For a player whose leadership and maturity has been questioned in the past, this is how Eichel is proving all of it wrong. Now, as for the off-ice stuff, it's obviously tough to say what kind of impact he's had in that locker room specifically, but I think the benefit of him not being the main guy for the Vegas Golden Knights has really allowed him to just be himself and be the best possible player that he can be. Being named captain at 21 years old isn't for everyone. I think Eichel has had a lot of maturing to do both on and off the ice. He's found a fit that works for him and the team. There's no doubt that Eichel has come a long way as a player. He's no longer just a guy who can lead offensively, but he's also become a great two-way player to help Vegas in all situations. Right now, Eichel is playing like the franchise center that was prophesized at the start of his career. And while there has been doubt about whether or not Eichel can be this type of player, he's now got the ultimate chance to prove everyone wrong and change the narrative. So do you think the NHL was wrong about Jack Eichel or does he need to win a cup to truly change his narrative? There was a while there where everyone including myself thought Eichel just wasn't the player he was touted to be, but man I was wrong because he's become one of the most impactful players on the ice in these playoffs. Let me know your thoughts down below and before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills inspired by some of the greatest NHL players on earth, it is the number one spot to take your game to the next level, both on and off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. And if you want to see more NHL playoff breakdowns, make sure you click that subscribe button.